We've lost the lead. <laughs> wow. I mean, just wow. <laughs> That's all I've got to say about that. Just wow. Where, where, for the love of jumping Jehovah, did that guy just appear from? Somebody just explain. I had to actually watch the kill cam to get a complete understanding of what just happened to me because it just blew me away. And actually, I, you know, after I watched it, I kind of got it and I take my hat off to him and give him full respect for the element of surprise because, listen, the element of surprise is the best form of attack. Take the Trojan horse, for instance, in the Legend of Troy. You know, the, uh, the soldiers were on the beachfront and they decided to make this horse from bits of wood that washed up on the shore and they made this beautiful Trojan horse and delivered it to the door of the enemy and they took it in said wow it's a gift from the gods and look at this beautiful horse that the gods have delivered us let's take it in to the grounds of our abode and dance around it and drink and feast for God has given us this and then let's all fall asleep and get murdered and die because we wasn't expecting that because it was a surprise just like a guy knee sliding with a fucking MTAR <laughs> and hip firing me you bastard but no full respect Anyway, I'm not here to talk about the sliding, hip-firing MTAR guy. I'm actually here to talk about why me. Just why me. Why me? That is what I'm going to title this commentary. Why the fuck me? Why do I get them? Uh, I seem to end up all the time. And, you know, you guys who've watched me stream will understand and, and well, hopefully will understand that when you've watched me, I try my best, you know, in the words I suppose I am a try hard, you know, I do try hard. I try hard to win, I don't want to lose. And even when I've had the issues with, I suppose, drunkenness or connection problems, I still manage to pull something out of the bag. I don't really go negative, I go positive. And that's because I try hard, I try to win. I, you know, I don't profess to be the best player in the world, I think I'm okay, I think I've got decent awareness of what is going on around me and I think my vision is kind of 50-50 and maybe my senses work okay. So why the fuck do I get people who go 2 for 13? How is that physically possible? I must get the people who, I don't know, maybe taking part in some sort of trial and error game. You know, some guy takes his friend's Xbox controller next door to his house and he says, okay, I'm, I'm on the radio, I'm on the walkie-talkie. Now I'm going to be playing it blindly. Guide me through what I need to do. Okay, you're walking into a room. Keep going forward, keep going forward. Turn right. No, no, you've just walked off a cliff. Okay, try again. Keep walking forward, keep walking forward. There's a guy in front of you. No, no, aim, aim. You're aiming upwards. Yeah, oh, you're dead again. I must have them guys, or people who just genuinely cannot see, or are playing the game from across the one end of a hall and the television's the far end. I don't understand why a player of my ability, and as I say, I'm not bigging myself up to the level of the masses, but I'm saying that I'm a decent player, why in a game of team deathmatch where it's all based on kills, do I end up going 34 for 9, which isn't the best score in the world, but compared to the rest of the lobby and com certainly compared to my team, it is a damn sight better. It is almost like all of my team scores put together. Why does it give me those players? What is in there that calculates that? What has Infinity Ward and Treyarch done to calculate that you get those kind of people? You get the people with the terrible kill-death ratios. Listen, I don't care about my kill-death ratio anymore. Once upon a time, I really did. Now I more care about my win-loss. I, I genuinely want to do well for my win-loss. I want to understand that I am actually a winner and not a loser. Like I said before, my win-loss is about 0.72 or something like that, which isn't good. You know, I've got people on my friends list, their win-loss is about 5.60. I've got a guy whose win-loss is 10. Fuck! 10! Mine's 0.70. I know I'm a lone soldier, but why me? <laughs> why does he give me these people who spend three and a half hours burning crystal meth and then decide to play some Call of Duty? Or the people who've just donated their pair of eyes to the donation of Eye Society and then decide, I wonder if I can still play Call of Duty using the rest of my feasible senses. Or maybe when I'm actually looking for a localized game, for some reason my server and my connection always seems to send me to my local mental facility where the patients are actually supplied with Xboxes and given an online gold pass but think they're playing Mario Kart. Why me? Why me? That's all I want to know. Apocalypse done.